Now let's exercise our brain muscles using Excel. I have a little assignment that I created for myself. I want to return random strings in Excel using formulas. I would like to get three strings, this, this is how many, and I would like to get each string to have 10 characters, random characters, alphanumeric. So my first step was to um, ask chat GPT. So what I did, I went to chat GPT and I ran this prompt, uh, create an Excel formula to generate a single random character or digit. And this time I did it, it created this formula. It suggested this formula, which is simple enough. So what this formula does, it is um, getting a random number between 48 and 122. And then it is using that value to return the corresponding ASCII character. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this formula and um, I'm gonna paste it into Excel and see what happens. So here, I'm going to paste uh, the formula and I want to paste uh, no formatting. So it returns a random kind of random character. And of course, if I recalculate, which is uh, F9, it will give me a new character every time I recalculate. And of course, if I copy the formula, I will get a bunch of random characters. OK, that is cool. That is um, going well, right? I get a single random character. But what are those characters? Well, if you, let me show you, if I type 48 here, and how many is it? 122. So I'm gonna copy it all the way. So I have 122. Uh, how many? Oops, I need the uh, fill series command instead. So one, I did too many. 122, I'm going to get rid of all the other ones. So now I have um, a bunch of numbers from 48 to 122. And the character function will return the corresponding character. So 48 is uh, what 0, 49 is 1, 52, and so on and so forth. And then we have the capital letters and uh, lowercase letters and some other characters. So it doesn't encompass all of the possible characters. And some of those numbers are actually invisible characters. But that is easy enough. So character uh, based on a number. And if the number on which that character is based is random, uh, then, well, you get a random character. So that is what I have here. Rand between 48, 122, uh, C-H-A-R, the character function returns the character. Now, the thing is, I would like uh, to be this many characters. Of course, I can copy this formula 10 times into 10 cells, um, but that is not very productive. I want to be able to type the number of characters I would like to be uh, in that string. Well, this is not a string yet, but what we can do, we can create a calculation that will join all of those random characters into one string. And that's easy to do. You just type text join. Uh, join, and uh, you select all of these characters, right? And that will uh, join them. I need to specify the delimiter first, double quote, double quote will be no delimiter. Um, and uh, I would like to also specify true or false argument. I want to ignore empty cells or empty values. And uh, that is my formula, joining all of these, into one text string. And of course, if I recalculate F9, 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 I'll get another text string. So that's cool, but that's not dynamic. So how do I make this dynamic? Well, there's a pretty cool function called sequence. And let me show you how that works. If I type sequence, um, you can fill a, a sequence of, uh, well, a sequence means sequential, right? So a sequence of numbers vertically, horizontally, or both. Uh, there are several arguments there, but I'm only interested in rows. So a sequence of, let's say, 10 will fill 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if I put like 9, I will get 9 numbers and so on. So now this is called a dynamic array. 
Right. So what we can do, we can use uh, the dynamic array, which is provided by the sequence, and uh, we can assign this calculation to every occurrence of that sequence. And one way to do uh, to do that is to use the map function, which is a new cool function. Well, new-ish, I think. Not sure how new or how old it is, uh, but it's just called map. So you're ma mapping. And see what you are mapping. You are mapping an array. And the sequence provides an array. So I'm going to click on this. But of course, I want to reference the entire array. And to do that, I'm going to type the hashtag. That is how we reference a dynamic array in Excel. So we're going to reference the dynamic array uh, based on the sequence, which is in A6. And uh, the map function requires a lambda function in order to function. So lambda is another cool function, which I'm going to type lambda right here. And lambda requires a uh, parameter first, right? So I'm going to say, OK, uh, what is my parameter? And, and that is kind of like a variable. Uh, so you say, OK, you, it can be just one letter. So let's say C. Comma. C is the name of the variable. And after the uh, variable name, I have this calculation, character in between 48, 122. I'm going to close uh, parentheses and press enter and say yes. Now I get a spill error because all of these are not available. Those cells are filled with all of those formulas. I'm going to clear that. And then look at that. I have a sequence here. And the sequence is mapped to the calculation of a random ran between. You see right here, I'm going to copy my formula text in here. So you, this is the sequence formula. Uh, so now, uh, and this is the map formula that is using the sequence in order to map those, uh, you know, the sequence, uh, the array. Uh, to the character, random character calculation. And now if I if I put like 15, I get like 15 and so on. Now this one is not uh, including all of the uh, characters because I am not referencing a dynamic array. In order to reference the dynamic array, I'm going to reference this cell and type the hashtag. And now this will be my string based on these random characters. So of course, of course, you uh, may already know that you don't have to have this separate from this and this one uh, in another cell, another range. We can combine everything in, into one formula. So this calculation here is being fed into the calculation on the right-hand side. So I'm going to take this, uh, copy, Control-C, escape, and I'm going to replace the reference to A6 hashtag with the calculation that's inside A6. Uh, and now I'm going to take this entire calculation that is also being fed into the next formula, copy it, escape, and I'm going to feed it into the B6 reference with a hashtag, but in this case, the formula will replace that uh, dynamic array reference. So this is a standalone calculation now that does not require uh, any of these. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy my formula text here. So you can see the formula. It's kind of a long, getting to be a long formula. So now we have a dynamic uh, number of characters. So let's say type seven, uh, seven characters. You see that these characters are not the same characters anymore because I'm not, no longer referencing this one and in, in order to create, you know, to calculate that. But these are still random characters. So how about uh, we also change how many strings we get? And what I'm going to do, I am going to um, use the same approach using the map function. Why not? So this one I'm going to get rid of. And I'm going to get rid of this one. So here I'm going to put sequence again. But in this case, I will put the sequence of how many strings I would like to have. So right now I have three strings. I can put type 5. I will get the sequence of five, uh, five digits. And what I would like to do, I would like to fill uh, the number of uh, strings down based on the sequence like that. Let me do this. I'm going to copy it here. 
And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the map function again. So it's like map inside, uh, outside of the previous map. I'm going to put map. Map what? Which array? Well, this array with the uh, hashtag. The second argument is lambda. Lambda, so it's another lambda. And the lambda requires a parameter. Well, um, let's say I will call it uh, JT, join text. I already have join text calculation here. So lambda will calculate join text and assign it to every single uh, occurrence in the sequence, every single number in the sequence. Let's see, unless I made a mistake. Uh, always needs a correction. So, all right, I have how many strings? I need seven strings. I need how many characters in each string? So let's say I want 10 characters in each string. You can generate passwords that way. But again, uh, we don't need the sequence as a separate, as a separate uh, calculation. We'll just take the sequence after verifying it works, copy it, and uh, incorporate it, right? So incorporate it, add it to the, uh, instead of the reference, add, it, add that calculation. And now we don't need this anymore. I could delete that. This is still working. I'm going to undelete it just in case. But let's say I want uh, 10 strings, 15 characters, random characters each. And look at that. I have uh, everything I need. Generating passwords and random strings and so on to see. And now it's all dynamic. Let's say five strings of 20 characters. That's awesome. All right, that was a nice uh, workout. But if you like it, then like it. I'll see you in the next video.